From single mom to Hollywood regular, Marlene Forte has had quite a ride. Her passion for performing shines through on both the big and small screens on shows like ER, CSI, House of Pain, and most recently the blockbuster hit Star Trek. Marlene shares how she overcame rejection and family pressure to make her dream of becoming an actress a reality. Marlene, thank you so much for joining us today. It's a pleasure to have you here. Let me get this straight. You wanted to be an actress. You knew that yes, at the I core did. of your being. Yes. But you opened a video store instead. It's. I have to give you credit. It's still in the same ballpark. Yeah. When did you have your wake up moment when you said, this is just not working out, this is not what I had intended? Well, I was approaching 30 and um, Blockbuster had hit the scene and, you know, business wasn't the way it was anymore and I thought, you know, I, I'm going to turn 30 and not do what I want to do in my life. You took a really long time to get to where you are today. Yes. 18 years. I would say years. 18 years of solid really saying, I'm going to do this and I'm going to get a job, like wait tables, you know, I'm a college graduate. My father was having a heart attack when I went to the restaurant, but I, it was what I had to do to um, be able to be available to audition. And Marlene, you did all of this with a kid. You're a single mother, you're managing your family, your home life, I'm sure there was homework. Yeah, every every two or three years I would get to a point where I was like, that's it, I'm done. I, I really? Can't. Yeah, really? because I thought I can't do this anymore and I'm getting older and and then life would send me just one little one little nugget that, I love it. and every year I would say as long as I'm moving forward, you know, as long as I did one more job this year than last year, then I'm in a forward motion. Your parents weren't always completely supportive of your work as an actress. Oh my God, no. Who else was well, constantly trying to get you to get go out and get a real job? Uh, my daughter's dad. And I got divorced when she was three, so you know she heard these arguments back and forth, back and forth. And at one point, she was Alex, her dad, said to to her, you know, I don't know when your mother's going to get a real job and just you know give up this craziness. And she turned around and said, um, Dad. How long did it take you to become a heart surgeon? And then she relayed this little story to me, and I thought, oh, I'm going to use that. Uh, you know, it, it, nothing that really matters in life comes easy. It really doesn't. And if it I comes that. that easy, I, I don't know that. if it matters that much. Stagnation is a terrible thing. So people sit and, and you can't wait for anything. Yeah. And it, it comes in the most roundabout ways. If you lose or somebody will say no, which many people will, yeah. you go, OK, not now. I love that. No <laughs> means not now. No means not now. Your constant um, drive should be find joy.